Hi there, this is a quick demo of our Smartsheet integration with Workboard. Um, before we get into the integration itself with Workboard, I just want to quickly cover what Smartsheet is in case you're unfamiliar. So Smartsheet is a tool that allows you to build these things that are basically like Google Sheets or Excel documents that allow you to do things like uh, deal with workflows and there's a lot of interesting opportunities for automation where you can have Google Forms that or forms that lead into these sheets so you can do things like polling and set up automation uh, and there's a lot of really interesting commenting and you know various other functionality that comes along with Smartsheets so it's become a lot of a uh, pretty popular tool especially among enterprise software so um, here we have an example of a sheet and in this sheet, this is an example of something where we have sales discount requests with automated approval. So every sheet has a sheet name and it has column names and it has rows. And in this example, uh, what we are looking at is a set of um, request of uh, a set of requests for discounting a sales price. So here you can say, uh, the, what the customer who's requesting the discount, the amount of money that they're currently spending, how much of a discount they're re requesting, and whether or not it was approved. So in this particular example, uh, you can see that maybe we want to verify as a key result how many of our customers received uh, discounts. So maybe we want to set a key result, uh, something related to growing our pants sales that says, we want to make sure we're not giving away a certain number of discounts or, or we're trying to keep discounts under a certain level. So one thing that I might want to do here is I might want to add a key result to this and I've set one up here already but uh, we'll just delete this and in this supporting key result I might say uh, uh, keep uh, let's say uh, discount uh, five customers. So I might say, hey, we want to make sure we're handing out enough discounts to customers to in improve sales or something, which is uh, fine. So I'll, I'll just say I'm going to save that. Uh, and I don't know what my target value is. We can figure that out later. So I'll just enter in uh, a dummy value for now. And then what I will do is I will come in and edit this key result. And when I edit this key result, I will select that I want to change who is updating. So I'm going to change my measurement type. And when I go to change my measurement type, I'm going to say pull data from external applications. There's other things you can do here. When I pull my data from an external application, I'm going to choose Smartsheet. We have two ways to log into Smartsheet. We have with an API key and we have with OAuth slash SSO. If you're logging in with OAuth slash SSO, this is the default login that you're going to use. So for most people, you can just keep this custom domain here and you can hit continue. Um, and if you have a custom domain, if your organization uses a different URL to access Smartsheet, then you'll want to enter that information here. When you use the custom, when you use the domain, what we will do is we will uh, come up with a permission screen. You'll click allow or something to that effect if you're not uh, it uses cookies on your computer to figure out who you are so if you're not this person then uh, you know you can sign out um, but if you are this person then it facilitates access so it recognizes that I'm already logged into Smartsheet which is why it allows me to go through anyway but uh, if you're not already logged into Smartsheet you can enter in your SSO credentials to go through that process. Conversely, there's also the opportunity to log in with an API key. So if you're not using OAuth or SSO in your organization, but you do have a license to Smartsheet, you can come through and you can generate an API token. And in order to do that, you come and find your user profile in the bottom. You come to apps and integrations. And then there is a tool called uh, uh, API access. And in order to set up API access, you generate a new access token and you give your token a name, you hit OK and you will generate a new access token. So uh, demo access token. And here uh, you 
are given the access token, you're asked to copy it. And the intended use of access tokens is to go straight away, enter it into the integration, and then never write it down. Sure, could you copy and paste it? Yes, but the intention is that you don't do that. You say, okay, before I say, okay, I'm gonna click the sign in button to make sure that I copied and pasted it correctly, but generally this works pretty smoothly. Um, once I log in, uh, you can see, no thanks. Um, you can see that I'm all set up to pull data from Smartsheet. So I will come back here, I'll say, okay, I'm done with this and I will close, uh, close this integration here. Then looking at the Smartsheet integration, I will come through here and I will say, uh, I can choose which sheet. So here I know the sheet is sales discount request with automated approval and I can type ahead to search for this. I'm gonna select a column. I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna make sure I'm approving enough uh, enough discounts here. My, my discounts approval rate has been too stingy, so we need to make sure we're giving the right number of discounts. So I wanna say, hey, show me, count me a list of items that have been approved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the, what's gonna happen is Workboard is gonna go through the sheet, find a list of all the items that have been approved, and then return your results. So here you'll see that there's 12 results uh, here. And so the reason why there's 12 results is we count every line in here as a particular line, but the number of ones that have been counted as approved have only been uh, three. So there's three approved out of the total 12 results. So um, generally speaking, if you're looking to use the denominator uh, for your target, which you can do, you can automate your target based on this denominator, you should make sure that the total number of columns or every row that you have in this form is a row that you genuinely want to be counted. So click Save here, and after we save, uh, what'll happen is it's gonna load my data, and um, I will, ah, yes. So you can see here that Discount 5 Customers is gonna be collecting data. So I'll just click on Save here, and I'll come down, and I can see this key result. And you can see up here when it says data source, it says sourcing from Smartsheet discount requests. And if I click that, I will get access directly to the sheet that is coming, that is generating this. And then you can see here that there were three results generated, which matches the three results generated. And if you need to uh, force an integration sync, so in our configuration setup, you can see that you can set an update cadence to be weekly or daily here. Like if I want it weekly, I can set the day of the week that I want it to be, but maybe I have a weekly cadence set up, uh, but I have a midweek report coming out or something like that. Like I wanna talk to have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager and I need the most up-to-date data. What I can do is I can come up to this kebab up on the top right and I can say sync integration data. And when I sync the integration data, we'll go to Smartsheet and we'll uh, automatically uh, change it. So let's say I this was submitted and it got approved. So let's change, that's been updated now. Uh, and we'll make sure this is saved in Smartsheet. And we'll come back here and let's sync integration data. You should see that this new number now says four. So live updates as you need them. This is how you automate key result data coming from Smartsheet.